what's up. <laughs> what up? <laughs> it is um, almost midnight. It's 11.30. Oh, okay. We're going to like do a live, but we're like, this is from a short video yeah. about this. This is going to be interesting. Yes. Because what does it remind you of? This is it like a series then then versus now? Yeah, yeah. by making us think mm -hmm. recently yes. where they compare um, two fragrances well the same fragrance but from different eras, eras. i guess yeah. so like a original formulation versus a current, current reformulation yeah. all of yeah is there really a difference is it really worth hunting yeah. and paying the price for a vintage or discontinued formulation so i think it's really i guess it's like a preference thing yeah but i mean, I mean there's no right or wrong answer true but I guess for ourselves, being that we've compared at least one just now. Yeah, so we just earlier, did one. Yeah, earlier we compared a modern formulation of Kokoro Mundell. What's our face? Can you do it? <laughs> this is your camera, it just you know what's did happening. It. it just did it and then <laughs> it doesn't like me. Maybe also because we're not using a super bright light. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, this is the current EDP. EDP? Mm -hmm. Coromandel. Yes. And if you don't know, the original Coromandel, well, not Coromandel, the original Chanel Le Exclusive mm -hmm. were all EDTs. Do you know why they switched to EDPs? I have no idea. Do well, you know why? No. I don't. If anyone knows, let us know down yeah. below like, in the comments. Yes, please. Um, so I ended up getting a decant of a an edt formulation which um so i wonder if they did they change the price when they switched did i think they uh, did right i think that might have been one of the gripe about the whole like situation but i think they also recently increased their prices or you know but like more, but like when yeah, when they switched from eau de toilette to eau de parfum mm -hmm. i feel like the price went oh, like jumped yeah. significantly but i don't know yeah, I, I'm not I, I wasn't sure. i wasn't around <laughs> I was around, but I wasn't around. I didn't exist at the time. I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't know either. That's something that we can look yeah, up just to make out. sure. Yeah. Um, but I remember when I first heard of Coromandel specifically, I thought that, oh, should I need to get the EDT. Because a lot of folks mm, were saying yeah. that the EDT smelled better. The EDT mm -hmm. was more rich. It lasts longer. Blah, 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 blah. I also owned a bottle. I guess I still kind of own it, but it's <laughs> my mom's because mom she took it from me. Killed it. Let's not get into that because we'll it'll that begin later. a rant. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. uh, so I, I got the EDP. Mm -hmm. And before this, my only experience was the EDP. Mm -hmm. But in Fun the fact, Commando was the first Chanel perfume I ever bought. Oh, was it? Yeah. Wait, I think it's mine too. Well, was it? Lake exclusive. Yes. It was my first Lake exclusive, yes. Oh, no, the, yeah. This was my first Chanel, Chanel. ever. Yeah, I was like, this is a Chanel. Like, I know number yeah. five. This does not smell like Chanel. But compared to all the other Chanel's, it is quite like. It different. is different, yes. A little bit and different. And then now they're like French and out like Le 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 Leon, Leon mm -hmm. and all that. Okay. So we just yeah. smell this, right? Yes. So sure what did we. Filming. <laughs> Trust issues. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> From the last time. Um, so we say all that to say this. Um, Chris and Camille do this thing we just talked about where they compare the formulations and what they did in one of their videos, I, can, I don't remember which one they were talking about. Uh, um, Was it Muscubacan? Muscubacan. They had three test strips, sun mm -hmm. strips, and uh, Camille sprayed two of them with one version and mm -hmm. one of them with the other. And Chris was supposed to pick try the outlier. and pick the outlier and then to guess which one's which. And you were able to pick the outlier for Coromandel because we compared them and I picked I picked the outlier mm -hmm. but the outlier I picked I thought was which one was the EDT was the ED the outlier was the EDT right you thought it was I thought it was the EDT mm -hmm. but it was the Eau de Parfum mm -hmm. yes and which one did you like better I preferred the Eau de Parfum yes and I, I just I just thought it was um, it was a lot. It had more punch yeah, to it. Yeah. And when she said that, I was like, "What?" Because I also don't have much experience with the EDT. So when I compared them and really paid attention, then yeah, I could tell that the EDP seemed more present, more stronger than mm -hmm. the EDT, which completely which, throws me off because that's not what I've heard. That's in the what. Streets. Yeah, we thought. Yeah. But then again, yeah, that's not what we heard. Mm -hmm. 
We thought that it was supposed to be. I thought the other toilet was supposed to be stronger, like had mm-hmm. more punch. But like, yeah. it was. I was shocked. Same, same. I was. So we're gonna do the so same. We're going thing. to do the same thing <laughs> with oh. another Chanel. Um, and it's the Chanel number twenty-two. Ooh. Here we go. Um, there's an obvious difference in color. Mm-hmm. Um, the this one is the EDT. Yes. Um, so the more red one is the, or pink, orange, whatever is the EDT, EDT and, and this is the EDT, that's the, the, the more modern version. I checked the year um, of that. I'll have mm-hmm. to find check it again and then put it on the screen somewhere. Okay. But yeah. I think it might it it was the one the last batch before the before they stopped before they stopped making it. Okay. Yeah. And if you're curious, on the back of the label, you can see. I don't know if it will focus. focus. I think it's because we're not using like proper lighting. Yeah. It's having a hard time focusing. And then we have faces. Around. Yeah. You know what? You can crop. Can you like bring it back if you want? Yeah. There, there we go. Can you see it? Hopefully you can see it. But Hopefully you can see the it says toilet, the toilet right on yeah. the back of the label. So, you smelled this. I haven't mm-hmm. smelled the 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 ET version of it, um, but I have smelled the modern one and I own the bottle because I yeah. really do enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I want to get the parfum. I do too. So good. I do too. Yeah. But I, don't, I think I'll stop because, I don't know. We'll because see. of this. We shall see. Yeah. <laughs> I think if you can, if that your Chanel boutique had a sample. Yeah. So you can we'll test, test it. Test it and smell and it. Smell yeah. It. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Wait, did they? They didn't, no. Are you sure? Yeah. I feel like I smelled it like last time. You smelled it? Did you? I Maybe you smelled. did. I think you did. Yes, and I think I you did. Right. I think it was the one. I was yes. telling you not to smell it. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I was like, I, like, I, I didn't smell, smell it. it. But I smelled it before. Okay. Yeah. The other part, the, the extra extra pop on. Is yeah. Oh, it's so great. It's really good. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Okay. So now. So I'm going since, to do this. Yes. Since Michelle has smelled both of them, um, she's going to label the thingies, the scent strips, and then I'll have to try and pick out the out- outlier. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I will. Oh. Oh. What do you do? I'm like dropping everything here. Okay. Okay. We ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm going to give it like very generous sprays okay. too. You finished? Okay. So we got them. So one, two, three. I'm gonna just smell one first. It smells so good. It smells great. It's amazing. Okay. One and two, I think, smell different. Okay. Yes. Okay. I think, I think two and three are the same. Oh yeah, and okay. one is different. Let me see. Um, let me let me smell one before I commit to that. Yeah, it feels different, like texture wise. Okay. And these smell similar. I feel like one is more diffusive, like it's 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 louder. One. Than two and three. Let me see. Three, I feel like I can't even really smell it. Do you want me to spray some more? Can you? Yeah. All of them? Um, the, same, the same thing? Yeah. 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 Let's do it again. Because mm-hmm. one smells like... I can easily smell that one. Okay. I'm going to like give it to you fast and then just so that you don't like start like fading away. Okay. Same feelings. 
God. The whole I feel room like, smells like yeah, amazing. Like a lot of, yeah, <laughs> a lot of things. Hmm. Two is different. Okay. Now I'm confused. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you've like switched places completely. Yeah. Can I get a sip of my water? Maybe that will help me cleanse like, my palate. Hydrate. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we would have wine, but it's like kind of. It's yeah, close to midnight. Yeah, I mean, and it's like tomorrow is a school day. School day? <laughs> is that what they call it? This day? Tomorrow is a school day. We're wrong. It could be a work day. <laughs> school day, work day. That's what that's like the term. The term. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> no, I feel like. Okay, let me like. The fact that you're like just all over the place just says a lot. I just feel like too. I need to like clear everything clear like out. everything. Okay. Like go to a different room, maybe open the wind, open the door, <laughs> and the door opens. <laughs> and the door opens. Magic. Gracias. Gracias. Thank, Thank you. you. Can you reach? Yes. Okay. It's like the pro tea delivery I know. guy. Thanks, babe. Just two and one. Thank you. It smells so good, man. Okay, now I feel like three is the outlier. Three is the outlier, you said? Now I feel that way. Let me see. Or is it? I don't know. It's not like COVID. So I can I can smell all of them now. First, the third one, I, like third one, I can smell that much. No, one is different. Okay. I think I I stick to. Or is it two that's different? Let me see. I'm just gonna stick with my initial. Your first one. Yeah. So two is different or one? One is different. Is what I'm gonna go with. Okay. That's your final answer. You're stressing me out, Michelle. It doesn't, I mean, does it, it really matter, matter though? No. <laughs> it, doesn't. it doesn't really matter. I'll just say one is the outlier. Okay. So, one is the eau de parfum. Okay. And three is the eau de parfum. Oh. So, two is the outlier. Okay. So, smell them again huh. and see if you can, yeah. if you notice anything else. Do you else. notice anything different? Not no? really. Slight. Very slight. Just because I, I, I'm looking for it, probably. Yeah. But if you did the same thing to now, I'm curious to know if I would. Hmm. I probably will because I I've, I have I've had more experience with the with the eau de parfum because I had mm -hmm. that first before I got the eau de toilette. Yeah. So I can I can smell the differences. Mm -hmm. And let me see. Let me smell two actually, and two and I smell the two difference. So what do you think is the biggest difference? So smell. Let's smell the two that are like the two different ones. Yeah. Okay. And now I feel like okay, yeah, I can tell a difference. But would, this one would yeah. This is the ED the number two, I think it's the ET, so yes. They're very similar. If I have to similar. find a difference, you have to look for it. Yeah, you have to. And you like, have to. Yeah, if you're looking for it, then you find it. Yeah, you um, have to really search for it. I would say, is there like any difference in like strength or like vol volume or just texture? Like, what do you are you noticing? I would say this one, it's in texture, perhaps. I would mm -hmm. say this one, which is number two, is a bit more. Um, it's expansive. Expanded, yeah. This one, this yeah, one this one's is, like more enclosed. Yes. So like the, it's like um, it's like a lot of a lot going on in like a small space versus yeah. like the number two is just kind of like 
like it's more out of there. a cloud. Yeah, it's like yes. lighter and more like. So essentially, just with the Coromandel, mm-hmm. I feel like the parfum is just has more depth. Mm-hmm. Right, the odor parfum. Yeah, the odor yeah. parfum. Sorry, yeah, because you parfum. said you said yeah, sorry. <laughs> more punchy. Yeah, yeah, it's more punchy mm-hmm. and it has more depth. Um, and they both smell very similar. Like it's yeah, yeah. But it's funny because eau de parfum versus eau de toilette. You would expect the eau de parfum to be denser, mm-hmm. and the EDT to be more expansive, like yes. more fizzy, more lighter, lighter and airy. So yeah. what I'm learning from all of this is that. The EDP behaves as an EDP, and the, and EDT, the EDT behaves, behaves as like, an EDT, like we expected to. Yeah, but it's the yeah. same fragrance, but it's but not better. It's not, yeah, or it's, it's not like better. oh my god, it smells so different because we yeah. can barely tell. I the can difference. barely tell the difference. I can tell the difference in how EDTs versus mm-hmm. EDPs tend to perform or just just behave. Behave, yeah. yes, behave not perform, yeah, yeah, but yeah. behave in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so. But that's not what we've heard in the stories. It's, so now I'm thinking all this is just like, yeah. either our nose is broken. Maybe, I'm, maybe we're broken. Please help us out. Yeah, because... And I'm know. not being biased because like I spent the money on these two. Yes. Like, so and like, I also I mean, did it too. So <laughs> mine is in the mail. Yeah, exactly. I, or it, I haven't received it yeah, yet, you but it's on the fucking way. Yeah. And now I'm like... Maybe we could smell yours because yours is from a different era. True. Right? I, I am not 100% sure. But once I get it, we'll do the research it's all and like, we'll find out. But to me, it seems like it's just always the time. It's just always the time. Like, now, if you talk about like fragrances, I guess like Miss Dior. Mm-hmm. Old school Miss Dior versus new school Miss Dior. It's, like, it's a whole other fragrance altogether. Yes. Mm-hmm. So if you compare that, of course, there's like a huge difference because it's a whole, it has the same name, but yeah. it's night and day. Mm-hmm. This one's for a mo- the modern girl, the modern woman, and the other one is for the modern woman in the 40s. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. so, or wherever it came out, I can't remember. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this is very revealing. Very. Mm-hmm. And it's been... I wish we filmed the Coromandel one. Yeah, we should have. We should have. We should have. But, because... I mean, why would we lie about us? We're not. Yeah. Not. But it would have been interesting it to It would have been like... interesting to see mm-hmm. back to back just these two different things. Yeah. Maybe something else will land on our feet. Something else. Yeah. What is it? Or Missia or something. Yeah. We don't like Missia. So really no, Missia smells like crap. <laughs> it smells like shit. <laughs> She is obsessed. So. I love Missy. Yeah. Um, um, or something else. Queer de Russie. Yeah. I know that's a big one. Yeah. If you have Queer de Russie or the toilet, can you send that to yeah, us? Yeah, let us know. Because I don't think you can find that. No. Like you, it's I It's probably like one of the anywhere. ones I haven't even seen anywhere. Yeah. Or anyone talk about. I, no. Yeah. But the, I feel like if you're looking for, if you're like trying to search for like a vintage, uh, less exclusive um, Chanel then I would say just don't waste your time. Yeah. Yeah. Th- there's no need to. There's no need to. Yeah. They s- are too similar. Too, yeah. And especially sometimes you can find like some of these vintage, like overpriced. Yeah. Because they're, they, they'll they put the this. name like vintage Chanel. Yeah. Mark it up. Mm-hmm. But it smells the same. Unless for whatever reason you just want something that was dated from I'm, before. Yeah. And I, I, I would like to talk to maybe... I wish I knew someone who was around or was like in the game, in the game, in the game when this was a thing, um, yeah. the, the other toilets and then have them do this. Yeah. That'll be interesting. From, yeah. From their, I just want to see what they think. Yeah. Just yeah. from their memory and just, just blind sniff them. Let me know what you, can you pick out the outlier or mm-hmm. well, what do you think about the two? Is there something different between the two? And if there is, what is it? What is it? Yeah. And is it like a significant jump? You know, um, and I want to yeah. know if the price was different too. That might have a lot to do with the whole like changing. From the EDT? Yeah, from the EDT mm-hmm. to the other platform. I think it? you said that they did increase the price. I thought they did, sure. but I don't know what it was or how okay. big the jump was. Yeah, so that's true. Yeah, I don't know either. Plus the shoes. <laughs> okay, five minutes later. Yeah. yeah. So well, yeah, yeah. There's that. Interesting. Um, Cool. I'm glad we did this. Yeah, same. You know what? I want now. I mean, okay. So Antaeus is another Chanel that I own. I own a modern one. Okay. And I always say that I'm dying to get my nose on a modern, on a vintage, vintage one. one. Yeah. 
And now I'm wondering, like, is it really? Is it worth hunting yeah. it down? Because Antaeus can be a bit pricey. You can find little like samples, but the price of the samples is like, I don't want to spend that much for a sample. Yeah. But now with this experience with two other Chanel fragrances, I'm thinking. I think there's, there's just there's some kind Antaeus of hype is. about around like old, old stuff. Like, oh wow, like I have the 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 model five two zero zero five uh Creed Aventus versus the twenty twenty one version girl. and I'm like girl and then it's Creed Aventus it's too so. they 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 can't even be consistent Why are you with their about freaking that? fragrances but that one is because they're inconsistent and like each batch smells different. different yeah but is Aventus even considered vintage yeah but it's, was it created? like I I don't even know. And then also when when especially with those popular fragrances, they they they're constantly making batches too. Mm-hmm. And there's that like the whole thing about like masturbation time. Like oh yeah. I know I've heard something about this that when a fragrance is so popular and they're constantly making it very often, mm-hmm. that they're not able to like wait a long time yeah. because they want to make money, right? So they yeah. they're not able to wait a long time before launching. They just put it out there and then the masturbation time, by the time it gets to it takes like what, like a year, like a year and a half or something. Yeah. I don't know. It Tell depends. Us. I think it, it depends, depends on the yeah. formula. Yeah. Um, yeah. and, and it doesn't smell the same. Either. So people are just like, Oh, this is not the same, even though it might be the same. I don't know. I yeah. have no idea. It's it's confusing. It is. So it's very confusing. Um Trust issues. <laughs> okay, you say you say it every time you check. <laughs> Trust issues. Um but yeah, this is really interesting. I'm glad we did this. Yeah. Um, me too. I wonder hmm. we we'll, we'll, we can uh, we'll we'll see. Yeah, we'll we're not we're not like looking time. around, but like if something ends up, coming, yeah, we'll talk you can about have it. to like look at our collection. The only you thing... have something you had me smell recently, Musk Ravager, mm-hmm. and I just I couldn't. We can do that one. I don't have the my vintage one. Not no another time. Yeah, not another time. not not yeah, no. yeah. or yeah. my yeah. vintage one. What is vintage nowadays? I know, right? Five oh, years ago, it's considered vintage. Whenever there's a weird. formula change, it's a like. Whenever there's a new batch change, it's vintage. Yeah. So like, now that doesn't even make anything make any sense anymore. Mm-hmm. It's just like with the whole like niche term and like uh, right. all of that, all of that stuff. Yeah. So this is like another conversation. Exactly. It, it, it can just trail off. To, but one thing I wanted to say though was oh, we were just saying it earlier how. The word vintage, I feel like, is being thrown around a, li- a little bit oh, too yeah. loosely. Yes. And I hear it every time, even when it comes to, like, fashion and, like, clothes and stuff. Like, mm-hmm. I watch a few things on YouTube, and then there's this lady who talks to people, like, oh, what are you wearing? And clothes-wise, not, like, fragrance. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, this is vintage. Like, everyone is wearing something vintage. It's like a, like a, it's like a, it's a a trend. It's like a, um, yeah, I think it's a trend. Yeah. Vintage is a trend. Somebody called, wait, somebody called me vintage yesterday. What was the vintage? Was it a vintage, (laughs) ghetto vintage? Ghetto vintage. Dior. (laughs) That is another story. (laughs) Maybe Michelle wants to, I don't know, but. We'll get into that another time. I don't have I just don't have the strength for that. Yeah, today. it's it's, but it's a hot mess. It's ghetto. That's all ghetto I'm vintage ghetto. Dior. Um, but yeah, I feel like the term vintage is yeah. When you add like vintage to something, thing. it like boosts the price yeah. up. <laughs> like yeah, exactly. And then people are like, oh my god, oh my it's god, vintage. vintage. I want it. It's like a like a, a kind of a FOMO moment. Like mm-hmm. oh shit, it's vintage. I need to get it because I'll never get it again. We need to so start like to start find. marketing ourselves as vintage, vintage oh, yeah. woman. <gasps> Maybe sugar daddy. Maybe oh. sugar daddy looking for a vintage woman. Probably not. Right? Because normally they want like young women. Vintage doesn't... But if vintage doesn't attracts have to be. people... Vintage stops... Vintage-minded. Well, so, so like here's we can the have thing. conversations. Vintage, the age, when it comes to age, vintage stops. The clock just stops ticking. Mm. So, like, you could be a vintage young woman. Let's do it. Yeah. Add, I'm willing to try. We'll link the Craigslist ad yes. in the description yeah. below. So, yeah. In case you're... If you know anyone you're... that's looking for a vintage young woman... Young. I prefer keyboard. Yeah, I prefer. Um, I don't know about you, but I prefer more on the older side. It doesn't matter. I yeah. The closer you are to. That's why I say older. Okay. So like, just just so like, I have a whole theory 
I just want to like get in there. Just put me in your will. Like, that's all I all exactly. I ask. I just want to be there long enough to be put in the will. I want the I don't estate have to do that much. I want the know? estate and the horses. I'll share the stuff with your kids. I, can't I don't mind. Fucking ride a horse. But, like, but you can have. I it. just want the horse. Just because you don't know how to ride them, you can't have one. I can auction the horse. It could be like yes. a what do you call those horses that are super expensive? The sports horses. Uh, race. Horses. The race horses. Yeah. It trained like one. Like purebred. Purebred and trained. For yeah. like five hundred thousand dollars, yeah. auction it for that amount. Mm-hmm. And that's all we want. And I don't think we're asking for too much. Yeah. No. 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 Thanks, guys. Thanks. We'll talk to you soon. <laughs>